Ladies and gentlemen, uh, really quickly, Season 4 is off to a great start throughout the week. Uh, we have a big, big surprise for you guys. I hope you enjoy it, and then we're going to cut to Jamsaw when it's over. All right, sir, so now that you saw, so I will explain to the people that weren't here for when I was announcing it. So the in-ring competitors will be competing for a spot for them and their manager, their coach, uh, all month long. When they, well, when they win the finals, them and their coaches get title matches on week four of SmackDown. And if they win, then they have to successfully defend those titles at the big show at the end of the month. And if they cannot, then they ship back to NXT for training. But if they win and successfully retain the titles, then they then earn a main roster spot. So from what you saw, 
what's your what's your thoughts and who are you rooting for uh, this season in the new NXT? Well, my first thought is that if, if you're going to call your pay-per-view the big show, then Paul White's going to have a little bit of a, a lawsuit with you. <laughs> Bring it on! But, <laughs> secondly, I, I think it's an exciting idea and a fresh take, and I'm uh, looking forward to seeing what's going to happen. I'm afraid Luke Paul is going to take it, but uh, <laughs> or Jake Paul is going to take it, because I'm not a fan. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's a talented athlete, but he's an asshole. Yeah, yes, he is, 100%. I do agree. I do agree. But, um... So next week, the winners that you saw are going to be facing each other one-on-one, -on -one, and uh, you guys will see that next week. But moving on, with that being said, the Spirit Squad 2.0 is back one last time for the uh, retirement tour against LWO. Uh, I'm excited for this, and I'm excited to see what Dolph Ziggler can do this season. The dirty dog himself, Dolph Ziggler. <laughs> The man released from WWE. Yep, with uh, Kenny Bo Bobeni. Yep. Off to his side. Oh! Oh, damn. Who's he going up the uh, Legado del Fantasma? Uh, LWO. Okay, hey. Yeah. The rebranded Legado del Fantasma. Yes. <laughs> yes. Come on. Do you have Rey Mysterio as a part of this? Or? He's he's in ECW, but he is the manager for, for LWO. And what about Carlito? Yes, Carlito is a part of it as well, yes. Good. Is he on SmackDown? Yes, he is. Good. Yes, he is. 100%. The man's gonna... The man lost his title to JBL at, uh, Rus at, at WrestleMania. He has to get it back. Oh yeah, brother, but, brother. But not before Jericho gets the opportunity next week. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, beautiful. Come on, Dolph. Come on, Dolph. Start start the season off. Show Jams off. We are the threat this season. We are. We we took the world title home, but then Jams had uh, to play his backstage politics to earn a title shot. And then The Rock lost it. Of course it Dude, was. don't blame me for He was decisions. still <laughs> hurt from being dropped from 60 feet straight to concrete. Come on, man. The professional wrestlers, if you can't be dropped from a high spot, then you shouldn't be in the business. <laughs> oh. Folks, this is my year. This is my year. Brock, it's you different. know it's true. It's true, the, true, true. You're it's, gonna lose. No, it's my, it's my year this year. That's what you say every year, and so far it has not happened. So. It, it happened last season, and then you had to steal it from me. No, it didn't. Yes, you didn't it. have nothing. You didn't have nothing. All your shenanigans and bullshit maneuvering could not save you. <laughs> anyway, Dolph, there you go. Dolph Lee. The only Dolph that you need is Lundgren, man. Yes. Yeah, there it is. Come on now. If he dies, he dies. If he dies, he dies. Das Vidania. <laughs> back. Dolph, get back in there! Yeah, while well, I was on the plane from Denver yeah. to home, I watched uh, the, the movie called The Machine. Okay. It's uh, starring that comedian Bert Hershker or whatever. The guy who takes his shirt off all the time. Yeah. That's pretty funny. I would recommend it. Hmm. There you go. You know well, what I would... You know what I would recommend you let me win this season? Well, I would recommend fuck you. <laughs> That's what I would... And I said, no, Loch Ness Monster, I ain't gonna give you the winning season. No. Oh. oh, nice. I'm not going to give you something you have to earn. I think I've earned it F after three <laughs> years. I've I've earned the right to call myself the best of the best. Three years of mediocrity does Whatever. not equal a gold medal. Whatever. It, it a bronze. You get a bronze, man. I'll give you a bronze. Uh, you know what? I, I'll even be a little bit more generous. I'll give you half a silver. Josh gets the other half? Sure. <laughs> Where does uh, Dylan rank? I, what's below bronze? The zinc? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> and what do you get? The diamond medal? A diamond belt? No, I would not give a diamond belt to. I, I prefer humanoid getting the diamond belt. Ooh, but you get the gold? Of course. God damn it. You, you have it in your possession. It has Chris Jericho's name on it, man. That is my gold. Unless my I decide gold. to. Unless I decide. Unless I decide to keep it, and every time we uh, record, I put it right in front of the TV and block the screen and everything, and then you're like, "You gotta move that belt, man." I'm like, "No, nope, it's my title belt, man. I can do what I want with it." Yeah, that'll be that'll be the shortest season we ever have, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Week two, the season finale. Done. <laughs> the series finale, baby. Oh goddamn! And with that, the spirit, the spirit squad. squad. The, win. the spirit squad. Feeling nervous for your tag team division? Are you nervous seeing the Spear Squad? Not at all. Not at all. Well, they look beautiful, man. Spirit Squad showing why they are going to take the tag titles from the champion. You don't even remember. I do. I do. It's Lucha just brothers, bitch. <laughs> no, no, because okay. So this is so. So this is the situation that's going on. With the disbandment of Jericho from Raw, he gave everything back to Eric Bisch Bischoff. So every trace, whoa, whoa, whoa. that's just not what we agree. Every on. trace of Jericho appreciation has left the building. Everything. No, no, no. You said that all everybody had to lose no. first, and for the that season, the title, and then and Jericho the decided. The title. No, and then Jericho decided to drop it. Everything Jericho was gone Jericho would never from do SmackDown. That. So you're you're a filthy liar. So, so with that being said, with all the belts being vacated uh, from all of Jericho appreciation, JBL used his backstage politics, and he this is fucking bullshit. He basically was like, "Hey, those titles are vacant. We are number one contenders. Let's just give us the titles." And Eric Bischoff, being a suck ass, JBL agreed to it and uh so we no longer have but jbl was also upset with the bashams for how they performed all last season and the bashams are no longer a part of the cabinets and we now have the the wrestling court the court of the wrestling god and it is jbl happy corbin deuce and domino and Cherry by their side. Well, I don't think Chris Jericho agreed to any of this. Uh, I think so, because it happened. They signed the contract. Everything is was disbanded. I'm sorry that you have yet to come to the realization, but... Um, but uh, with that being Jericho me, you Jericho. Oh Jericho. my god! You're, you're a fucking Jericho. <laughs> with that being said, moving on. So with that backstage news, more will come of the development. Um, like I said, with uh, with I believe it was at more the like back door news because you fucked him up the ass, man. Like I said in the Primus Games, uh, all this month is for me and everybody on my end to fine tweak. All of the stuff, get it ready for the rest of the season. And so with that being said, all this month, uh, news of the wrestling court will be going on. And uh, you guys will be in the loop on what's going on. But with that being said, we have the uh, newly crowned Women's World Champion, Bailey Going up against former Women's World Champion, Michelle McCool. Brother, brother. God damn right. You got damn. There you go, Bailey. Oh, McCool taking a big bump there. I mean, that wasn't really McCool of her. No, it was very un McCool. <laughs> there you go, Bailey. Bailey with ECW's damage control. Yeah, I was going to say, it looks like EO Sky out there, but it wasn't positive. Yep. Ooh, oh! I don't see Dakota, though. Yeah, she's there, I believe. She was in the menu. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh, watch out, Bailey. Whoa, here she comes. Watch out, cause her booty's strong. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. See, there she is. See, I knew she was there. Ah, she snuck out of hiding. Would I lie to you, Jamso? Yeah, you fucking bastard, you would. <laughs> I might lie to you from time to time. Your show, I might lie said, to you oh, yeah, well, uh, from time yeah, to time, but at least I don't Jericho you whenever I get the chance. Have, uh, until somebody loses. Oh my god. He ran the whole it's last season. Guys, he ran the whole last season. Unfairly, might I add. Unfairly. Yeah. Very biased. Very yeah. biased on Jericho's end. Ooh, Michelle. There you go. Gotta come back going. There it is. No, we're not doing this. The week is over. We're done. No, stop. Stop. I'll do whatever I want. You can't tell me what to do. You're not my mom. I mean, I could be. Uh, you wouldn't want to be my mom. <laughs> Nice, belly to belly. There it is, folks. Oh, oh brother, brother. Shall not give up that easy. Oh, damn it! Damn! 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 Oh, there you go, Michelle. There you go, Michelle. Yes, Luthas. Bailey complaining to the ref. Yeah. Because this is her show, man. Like you do. Oh, it's the Bailey show, is it? It is the Bailey show. Friday night. Bailey booty show. There you go. Pick her up. Oh god, super kick. And we drag her away from there you go. There you go, Michelle. Go for that cover. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, jeez. There you go. Safety. Yep, Show yep. McCool going to the top row. Why? Oh. Ooh, high risk, no reward. God damn, we caught that on Wednesday too. The high risk, no fucking reward. Yep. Damn. There you go, put her in. Watch out for the wrath, Bailey. Oh my god. Bailey doesn't care about the ref. She just cares about the win. There you go. And that's how it should be. A champion always gets the win. That's right. One, two, three. Damn, Bailey picking up the victory. With ECW in her corner. I mean impressive, man. Impressive. So, much like we said uh, near the end of last season, uh, and much like we said on Wednesday, uh, Jamsaw has uh, allowed us to use one of his talents for uh, the opener of this season for SmackDown. So, uh, that will be later on. Uh, Rose will be making her SmackDown debut for one night only. I'm excited about that, but up next, we have John Cena going up, beep, 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 beep. going up against Happy Corbin with the court in his corner. Ah. There you go.
So what was what was your opinion on Happy Cor Corbin? I was not really a fan, to be honest to you. I didn't like Sad Corbin. I didn't like Happy Corbin. I thought it was like kind of funny for five minutes, but it just went on too long. Not true. But was it at least better than King Corbin? Well, yeah. I've never liked the whole King gimmick. Okay. You know, it's like you, you can be the King of the Ring, but like King Booker, King Xavier, King. It doesn't. It doesn't mean shit. You know. I believe you, you can go so and so. I'm the King of the Ring, but you're still your name, right? Right. So then, who was the best King? Jerry, the there King you, Lawler. There you go. Because he wasn't just King. He wasn't King Lawler. He was Jerry the King Lawler. Okay. So was that the if difference? If he was ba Baron the King Corbin or Xavier the King Woods, would have been much better. Okay. In my opinion. Let me pick him up. You know what's been come, coming across my, uh, my, my view page the past few weeks? What's that? Uh, that, uh, The Rock Show, where he came up. Young, young Rock? Rock or, yeah, Young Rock, yeah. That's a good show. I gotta, I, I, I gotta, I started it when it first came on. I gotta get back, oh, shit. Super Cena Plex! Boom! Uh, the, the clip that came across my few page recently was the one with uh, him and Jerry Lawler in the Loser Leaves Mem Mem Memphis match. And it was telling The Rock yeah. that, that he uh, got the call to come up to WWF. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Uh, that was a good episode. Yeah. So who was the woman that he was engaged to in the show? Was he still married to her? Uh, nope. Oh. That was his first wife. That's uh, Ava's mom. Oh, damn. wonder if Ava's going to be in the show. I mean, uh, I, I... I don't know if Roman was really in his life back at that... But, like... I don't think he said to ignite, like, I get it, they did it, because ha ha ha, he set, says it on TV, but I don't think he said to acknowledge him when he was, like, eight years old. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I think it was a joke. I think it was a joke. Yeah. But you know it's not a joke. It's Cena. He's nuts. Cena's, <laughs> Cena's going to help us get the title back. He's going to become world champion, go on to face your world champion, alongside Josh's world champion, and I'm going to get back the belt that was stolen from me by Jericho, and you damn know it. You, you know it's true that it was... You, you. Listen. I know it's true that I won it. It's damn true that I won it. Fair Cover. and square. Listen, I feel like... You Jerichoing me is a million a million times oh, bigger. Oh, this Jericho, this Jericho, that. I You're feel so like obsessed with Jericho, it's man. bigger than the the That's the, what she said. the screw job. It's way bigger than the screw job. Extremely bigger than the screw job. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, nice. All right, catch him on, catch him on three bound. Okay. Duck under. There you go, Spine Gotta Buster. Catch him all, Pokemon. Baron Corbin. Oh, nice. Oh, Cena's gonna fly. Oh, god damn. Cena never flies. Drop the elbow. Love it. There you go. And we're at six. Pick him up. Yeah, getting close to that time count. Uh, pick him back in. Uh, the court on the outside looking menacingly. Shit! No! Oh, God. Oh, God. 
Oh, rope break, his long ass legs. There you go. Time for that leg drop. Oh, never mind. Oh, nice catch, Corbin! Better drop that elbow again. You gotta focus on his upper. Focus on his upper. Yeah, that's right. The course got his back. His uppers and unders. <laughs> Is gonna fight out of it. Oh, two drop. Love it. Cover. No, Cena saying fuck you. There you go. Get away, get away, get away now. No, oh, he's going to end his days one more time. Bye-bye. Oh, here goes the dynamite. That might be it. It is. Happy Corbin securing over the GOAT John Cena. Maybe it's this GOAT's time to be put out to pasture. Here is your winner. A three and a half star. Hey, not bad. Not bad against John Cena. And here we go. Nyla Rose facing Gabby Tuft. And uh, Gabby's uh, uh, true debut match. Uh, I know she had two matches last season, but that was near the end of it. So uh, let's see if uh, Gabby can um, show that she is a threat in the women's division. Well, I don't think they quite got the face right, but I mean, they did get the size right. Yeah. Gabby is tall. Oh, yeah. And she's going to be a monstrous threat. There you go. Follow her out. Follow her out. There you go. Come on, Gabby. Send a message back to Jamsaw's show saying we will not be fucked with in SmackDown. This is our season. Man. And then us sending in the message will scare Josh and he will retreat and he will quiver in his boots. He will piss in his pants because we at SmackDown will be running this shit this season. We're going to take every title belt. Hold on. We're, hold on. How, am I go, how many am I going to He has this obsession with piss and shit and pants, man. I don't know what's wrong with this, uh, this fellow, my people. But uh, I do know one thing. He's expecting a lot of things having changed nights that he's even on, changed brands again for the, what, 12th time in four years. I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I'm thinking maybe now instead of being the B show, you'll be the C show. No, I, you can't even be the C show because nobody sees the show. So maybe the E show. Listen. <laughs> Let me tell you something, brother. I'm going in to next to this season's uh, Om Om Omni Wars. I'm going in with two belts. Because you stole my third belt. You're going in with two belts, and Josh is going in with one. So, uh, you better, uh, you better watch, you better watch the tapes. You better be nervous, because Nyla... I ain't being nervous. I don't get nervous. I don't sweat, and I don't piss and shit in my drawers. So whatever you're thinking, <laughs> stop thinking it, because it ain't happening. Gabby! <sighs> Yeah, there are two off. types of people in this life, bro. There are winners and there are losers. Right now, I'm a winner. Right now, you are a loser. Know your role. Shut your mouth. Uh, what's, uh, here comes the pain. <laughs> you know what? You can take that statement. You can breathe on it. You can shine it. And you can shove it up your candy ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, he agrees with me, folks. <laughs> God damn it. You go pick her up. 
Gabby, 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 Gabby. God damn it, back elbow. Oh, God. Nyla! There you go. Come on, Gabby. Come on! Send her back to AEW with a fucking message. Fuck her shit up. Break her spine. I don't care. Shatter her kneecaps. Do what you need to do. Send a message. This is our time. Yeah. This is our season. No. <laughs> nah. Nah. Damn it. Uh-uh. <laughs> Dummy. Don't be so hard on yourself. <laughs> yeah, come on, Gabby. Come on, Gabby. Get up. Get up. Get up. Stop taking those belly-to-back suplexes. Especially on the outside. Fuck outside spots. There you go. Quick elbow. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. Oh, my God. We're at the infamous five count. Fuck it. Keep her out there at nine, then fucking run, run in. We need a win. Fuck Jamsaw. We need a win over this. Set the season off with a fucking win. Come on. Seven. There we go. No, too early. Gabby. Oh, she's too tired. Gabby. Gabby. Oh, we would have fucking won if you kept her out at nine. Trying to steal a win. Oh, shit. Because you can't win on your own. You got to you gotta resort to thievery. I ain't stealing shit except for the hearts of all of America. And they're going to support <sighs> me this season. He's a good old boy. Never did no harm. Just wants to win the big show against the three other brands on this show. Again, Paul White is going to have a talk with his lawyers and you'll be hearing from them soon. <laughs> Gabby, 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 do not tap. Do not tap. Do not tap. Do not tap. Thank you. Fight out of it. Come on. Right, Gabby. He doesn't want you to tap there because he wants you to tap his ass later. Oh, Whoa. oh, hey -oh. There you go. Come on. Get that comeback going. Yes. Catch. Trip. Come on now. And release. Come on. Come on. Yes. And it, it's done. And the shit. Boom. You're done. Oh, the dynamite. Goodbye, Nyla. Nope. Uh-uh. 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 Nana. Nana, Hey, hey, hey. Goodbye. No, what? Get... Okay, it's fine. No, oh, no, he's calling for it. Getting a little whoop. No! In dead ass. No! Boom! Damn it. Good night. No, Gabby. With the spirits of the American peoples. Oh, thank you, Gabby. You son of a bitch. Thank you, Gabby. No, stop it! Calling for another one. No, no! Good night, Gabbers. No! Boom! Absolutely not. One, a two, a three. Wow, it got real quiet. Because it's fucking Almost ridiculous. Like I don't know what you... Someone lost the match. I don't know what you feed your, res your, your, your stars, your wrestlers. I don't know what you feed them, but you need to fucking stop. This is ridiculous. Testosterone. Pure testosterone. Son of a bitch. So up next, we have Solo Sokoa going one-on-one -on -one with Sin Bodhi. It's going to be great. We'll see. Might just be okay. No. Boom! Damn, Solo. Quick cover. Absolutely not. What are you doing, Sin? Let's not fucking do this. Let's not do this. Another freaking clown like Kazarni. Oh my god. It is Kazarni. That's what I mean. <laughs> you son of a bitch. 
You leave Kazarnia alone. Always you did a clown, nothing. always a clown. Next season he'll just be doink. <laughs> you leave that man alone. He just wanted to succeed and make money. And you guys were like, oh no, Kazarnia sucks. Because you don't see the potential. You didn't see you didn't no. give him a chance. He's no Dan Hansen, I'll give you that. Oh my god. You know what? I'm 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 doing it again. I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. First week of next month. First week of next month. If Sin Bodhi has by any chance won a title of any cal cal caliber, I don't care whether it's the tag titles, the IC title, the US title, or the world title, I don't care. Danhausen will be their first opponent in defending. And we will prove who is the better clown of who show. And it's going to prove that Danhausen is the bigger clown because that's what your show is. A joke. And Sin Bodhi's going to prove it. Sin Bodhi's the guy who has a clown in his ring right now. You leave him because Artie just wants to live. The yeah. clown with an apron on. He's like, mm. oh, I should be in the kitchen cooking barbecue. Ooh, damn. For the rest of my clown friends in a tiny car. <laughs> oh, shit. So, uh, what you doing with John Morrison? He's, uh, on ECW still with, uh, the oh, Miz. Is he? Yep. Maybe he'll be on AEW. No, he will. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> Folks, let, saying, let me tell you. Talking about clowns. <laughs> folks, let me tell you a little story. Edge was supposed to help run this season. Edge was going to be the the, the front runner, uh, uh, with pl I had big plans for him. Then Jam was like, "Hey, uh, Brock, did you catch what happened on uh, on the Big Show for AEW?" And I'm like, "No, what happened?" He's Here like, goes Big Show again, Paul White." And he goes... Call your lawyers. This man, he keeps using your uh, copyright. And he goes, oh, you should look at it real, real quick. Because uh, you're going to be a little upset. And he was very upset. <laughs> and at that point, he was very upset. Uh-oh. Damn, it there it is. At that moment, Brock knew he fucked up. Yes, there you go. Fuck you. They, they, yep. Trying to crawl away, but you can't from Kazarni. That's right. Smackdown, the place where you see clowns win over actual talent. He is actual talent. You leave Simbody alone. He's actual crap is what he is. He is like the giant turd that falls from the ass of the elephants. Simbody looking good. Love it. Jabroni looking shit. So up next in our main event of the evening, Chad Gable going up oh. against the world champion, JBL. Well, I'm hoping for Chad, but I have a feeling JBL will find a way to Jericho Gable. See, I'm hoping uh, Chad Chad wins too. He's, he's a talent that I hope has a successful uh, season. And if he could become world, world champion the first fucking week, oh, that'd be fucking... Uh, is this... No, this is not a title match. But if he wins over, uh, J, J, over JBL, Jibbles, over Jibbles, uh, if 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 he can get a win, then that proves that he is a threat. And maybe just maybe, at Backlash, uh, at the end of the month, maybe he'll be uh, a contender for the world title. You never know. You never know. God damn it! What did you say Randy Orton's middle uh, name was? Randall P. Oh, what was it? Randall P. Was it P. Train? It was Randall P. Something. Yeah, it was Randall P. Something. <laughs> Randall P. Freely. <laughs> <Orton. laughs> damn. So I tried cha changing JBL's finisher to the one where he bounces off of the ropes and then hits, hits him with a clothesline from hell, but 
Not one close clothesline in all of the millions that are on the game does he bounce off a rope. That sucks. Yeah. It, oh my god. And that's when he did the best ones, is when he bounced off the ropes. But you know. There you go. Come on, Chad. Chad <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. I no, thought someone right, said something. What's this other thing he he says shush and then something else. Thank you! Thank you. <laughs> yeah, he says thank you. But I thought... Yeah, I suddenly, my response to Josh is, uh, you can hear this picture, like, went over your head. <laughs> no, no, no! So, I was sleeping when I got the notification. When I woke up, the first thing I saw was you saying, excuse me? And I was like, oh, what did they say to Jamsaw? And then it was just the picture. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. I thought someone said something. you can hear this picture. Yes, excuse me? I honestly excuse thought that me. Dylan had said something to you, and you were like, um, like, I thought that he said something like, uh, ECW was uh, gonna run the season, and yours was gonna be like, excuse me, do you fucking watch the tapes? Like, that's what I thought you were going with. Ah. Yeah, that's that's why I thought you were mad. I'm like, who fucking said something? Because you're like that classic like sitcom sitcom funny uh, friend where you where we laugh at what you say, we have fun, blah blah blah. But then when you need to, you're scary whenever you're mad. So I thought like someone had pissed pissed you off, and I'm like, oh shit, what they say to Jim? <laughs> Uh oh. JBL, JBL. No! Damn. Ooh, nice kick. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. See, Chad knows never stay out more than five. Chad knows the, the assignment. That's right, man. See, because he's an Olympic athlete. Exactly. He knows what's what. Oh shit! Oh, I thought he was going for it. And oh, there it is. Oh, nice boot. Whoop. I said nice boot. No, you you went you went there. It is. No, <laughs> I did not. Yes, you did. Roll the tape. Roll the tape, ladies and gents. Ladies and gentlemen, I will not be rolling the tape because I know what I said. They will because it will be on YouTube, fool. They can quick and easily this, rewind listen. and see that you did say, there it is. That's why I said, Boop. Listen, this season is going to be ser serious listen, Brock. Listen, Linda, honey, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> this will be serious Brock. I will be running the show. This is a new era. Oh. This, this is, is serious, bro. This is, You're doing a very poor job at it. This is a new Brock. This is... This is the Kurt Brock Angle... Brock is very much the same as old Brock. I haven't seen very much difference. Well, you'll see. You'll see when I take home all six belts for my trophy case. We'll see. We'll see. And with that, folks, JBL secures a win in his uh, long reign of uh, world champion. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, please stay tuned for this season, uh, for the progressive of the Court of the Wrestling God, for all of the NXT brand, uh, for Josh, Dylan, Humanoid, uh, Jamsaw, and myself. Uh, Jamsaw's links will always be in the description below. Uh, and with that being piece. said, we will see you in the next one. Thank you so much. You're so As always, phenomenal piece again. Peace.